Welcome back to my channel. If I sound a little bit strange, it's because I still have a cold. Um, I'm doing okay, I'm recovering well, um, but I really wanted to make this video for you guys. So that's what we're gonna do, bear with me. Um, first of all, I 100% stole this video idea from my friend Debu Singh. So I'm going to put her in, uh, YouTube channel down below, the specific video as well, so that you guys can go and support her. Please do uh, watch her video as well. It was freaking brilliant. And so, yeah, I definitely was curious to see what people thought of me. And um, so that's why I decided to do it as well. Um, <clears throat> bear with my voice. So I'm going to, I've got about 15 um, assumptions about me. I'm going to read them out and then tell you guys whether it's true or not. Um, all right, so let's get into it. The first one is, hardly get worried about a lot of things. You're always calm. Um, definitely not. I, I am a huge, uh, what do they call them? Panic mechanic. <laughs> I stress about literally everything. I do my best to like have things planned out in my head before they happen, but I literally will stress about every single thing, like everything. Um, I think I try to stay calm and deal with it in the best way possible. I mean, we all have our coping me mechanisms, um, but in terms of like always being calm, not true at all. I'm usually screaming majority of the time. <laughs> You can ask Mark. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, I'm always worried about everything all the time, literally. Even more now being a parent than before. Because before I had kids, I was totally like, YOLO, you only live once. Like, I don't care what happens to me, blah, blah, blah. Now it's like ugh, constant stress all the time. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's not true. <laughs> Um, the second one is you used to be very reserved and shy when you were younger. This is not true either. I've always been an extrovert. I've always been extremely social. I actually think I'm more shy now. And if you know me, you know I'm not shy. Than I was in my younger days. I was like literally so crazy. Um, whenever we'd go out to places or whatever, I would always be the person that if I saw somebody sitting alone, I would like go up to them and be like, hi, I'm so and so, come to our table, come sit, come join us, come have fun. Like I would always do that, like always. I always met new people. I always had lots of people in my life. Um, acquaintances, friends, whatever, but I was definitely not shy. Um, not at all. Not at all. I definitely think I'm more reserved now and cautious about the people I speak to and let into my life than before. Um, but in terms of like actually being shy, I've never been someone that's shy. Um, always been an extrovert, always been very social, very out there, very extra. Like my family literally knows me as like the most extra person ever. If I ever act shy or act reserved, they literally think something's wrong because <laughs> that's just not who I am. Uh, and I've never been a shy person. So yeah, no, not not shy at all never have been <laughs> and then the next question is or the next assumption uh you have money and you can afford everything that you want i flippin wish that was the case <laughs> i wish so i do not i'm not like i don't know how to say this i don't come from money um i don't have enough money but do you ever have enough money um i will say that my circumstances right now is really good and i'm really grateful for uh, what i have in my life and what the people around me bring into my life and have made my life uh i know it seems a lot of the times like we're extremely well off but in terms of me myself i am not I've literally been working majority of my life and like right now I'm working two jobs just to be able to save up for the things I want. I do not make a lot of money. Like if I have to give you guys some numbers, 
um the two jobs i'm working now together probably give me if i'm lucky just over ten thousand rand a month if i'm lucky and um yeah maybe a little bit more you know just 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 over ten thousand and then if i give you all an idea the kids school fees alone is nine thousand two hundred rand a month that doesn't include any of our other expenses nothing but that also doesn't include marker's salary and everything else um but however i myself do not come from money i don't see myself as someone that has a lot of money and i definitely cannot afford everything i want but i guess that's also because i want a lot of things so <laughs> that might be why so yeah that one is definitely not true um next one is you have a big heart um i like to think so i like to think i do i really do strive on like trying my best to always be kind um i do feel that when you have a big heart there's more room for it to be trampled on um and so yeah there's a lot of like bad things that come with having a big heart and i think because of experiences i've been closing off my heart more and more which is really sad but i do try to to have a big heart and to always be giving and always be kind and like be sympathetic and empathetic to other people's situations because you never know what someone else is going through but yeah people be testing me wow people be testing me that's all i'm saying <laughs> they really be testing me um the next one uh you are a spoiled wife 110 percent i am a spoiled wife but my husband is also an extremely spoiled husband. We do spoil each other. Um, and when I say this, I don't mean it in terms of like materialistic things. Um, we do do a lot of things for each other. There's Marco has his departments where he will take over and I don't have to worry about it. And in that terms, I feel spoiled. And same with me, there's things that he doesn't like to do that I'll do uh, like ordering food or dealing with finances or buying people gifts for their birthdays. He will like never get involved in those things. So I will do all of that and take that completely off his shoulders. Um, and in that way, like spoil him. Whereas he will, if I want something like I'll be laying on the couch and I'll be like, I'm hungry. He'll get up and make me food, you know? Like I believe we're spoiled in that way. Uh, materialistically, probably like for the most part, yes, but a lot of the stuff we want, we also want to get for ourselves. We don't expect it from the other person. And a lot of the things we have are actually gifts. So I think if you see that as being spoiled, then yeah, we're definitely both of us are spoiled. I'm a spoiled wife. He's a spoiled husband. <laughs> and yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's okay to be spoiled. Honestly, I don't see a problem with it at all. I mean, you sacrifice what you have to sacrifice to be spoiled. So it is what it is <laughs> um the next one <laughs> this one is a bit of a a complicated situation to try and explain but she says you spend more time with your mother-in-law than with your mom this is not actually true i pretty much spend an equal amount of time with both of them but there is also reasons for the time i spend with them so for one my i'm very close with my mom like we did not have the best relationship growing up but we have really like gotten really really close like i don't even like do anything without consulting her first we literally chat the whole day every day constantly um if anything comes to mind like she's the first person i message to like discuss it you know and my mom had a really tough couple of years like bef not so long ago and she really f like how can i say she basically lost everything everything and in the last about six years i would say or five years maybe even less she's been working really hard to like get herself to like a good place again in all definitions of the word and that takes time and that takes a lot of effort and i have to be understanding to that to know that like she's working a lot of the time and she's got a lot on her shoulders right now so 
as well as trying to be supportive i also have to give her the opportunity to build herself up again and so that does sometimes cause conflict um in terms of our schedules um on top of that i am also an extremely busy person i literally um, like have plans like two weeks in advance planned out already that's why whenever people want to plan things with me i'm always like i need 14 business days <laughs> you have to tell me 14 business days before the time because i literally always have something going on i'm always always busy i like to be busy um and so yeah my schedule is very busy her schedule is very busy so sometimes it's very hard but we do see each other like often uh, the other thing is y'all will also see my mother-in-law more frequently on the vlogs and stuff because she's very big on social media she loves being on social media she's a photographer she loves sharing her work she loves being part of of all of this um whereas my mom is not really a social media person i literally think she only uses facebook and instagram like now and then um so when i vlog and stuff i i don't usually vlog with my mom because she's a more private person she likes to keep her her life private and i completely respect that and whereas my mother-in-law is like more uh free world and loves to be on social media i mean we're doing tiktoks together and um and yeah she's more into like social media that's literally that simple we do also spend a lot of time with marco's parents and the reason for that is that y'all won't know this but before th the last three years like in the nine years Mark and I have been together, this is the first time they live in South Africa. Like they always lived overseas. And so we would literally see them like once a month, twice a year, if that makes sense. They'd come through for a month, twice a year, or we'd go to them for a month. And I mean, that also is why we travel a lot because they, they've stayed like in different countries. So this is the first time that since Mark and I have been together that they've been year for like consecutive years and so they've missed out on a lot especially with the kids and with the beginning of me and marco's relationship and so we do want to make up for lost time as well you know so we do spend a lot of time with them especially with the kids because they don't want to miss more they missed a lot of the beginning of miles's life because they were living overseas and even though we spoke every day uh it's not the same you know so yeah so i do spend a lot of time with my in-laws but i do spend a lot of time with my mom as well um you guys just don't see as much of it but i am trying to convince her to do more videos so if you guys have anything in mind you want me to do with my mom leave it down below i would love to do more videos with her um and yeah so that's that situation it's quite a complicated thing but i do spend equal time with both of them and then uh the next one is you are the sweetest down-to-earth person I'm gonna cry <laughs> you literally might have gotten speed dial <laughs> oh that's so sweet this is one of my really close friends that said that and um and that means a lot to me like especially as someone that thinks it's so important to be kind um i don't have god on speed dial literally <laughs> but um i think in some way we all do you know um that really means a lot i do try i really do try and i mean we all have our faults and our flaws and sometimes i can be nasty too uh i'm human you know but um i do try to be a good person most of the time as much as i can because i mean why what is even the point of not being a good person i don't even understand it but um but thank you you're amazing <laughs> okay and then the next question or next assumption um you are a loyal and trustworthy person you know what i am literally loyal to a fault i hate it about myself <laughs> you know like people will trust me with their deepest darkest secrets and then flip and do me so wrong now nah, and i will still hold on to those secrets like as much as i possibly can i think that um I like to think that I am a loyal person, but I am sometimes so loyal that people take advantage of that and really hurt me. And because of that, it is making it much harder for me to be a trustworthy, like to trust people. I myself believe I am trustworthy. Um, I will literally give someone the shirt off my back and I've had people say that about me. Um, 
but I am struggling where I am in my life now to trust other people because because I am so loyal it tends to really bite me in the ass so um so yeah I I want to be the loyal trustworthy person that I am in my heart but I am struggling to give people time of day anymore because they just keep taking advantage so yeah that's thank you for that i think it's really sweet that you think that of me and i hope that i can live up to that as well and then the next one is your husband and your kids are your everything and you are a great mother and wife thank you so much um i try to be <laughs> but yes my husband and my kids are my everything um they really are like if anyone ever had to be like you have to choose between this and them i'd be like goodbye like don't even play with me um my husband and my kids are literally my life and without them i don't think i would even have purpose to exist <laughs> um they've changed my, my my life dramatically i've said before that my husband has literally saved my life in so many ways that people don't even know um i hope to always be a great mother and a great wife because i'm not perfect i am human i make mistakes but I will always try my best to strive to be as good as I can be and like, you know, and just always be there and love them and be the best, best version of myself for them. So yeah, that's very sweet. Thank you. And so the next one is you are very humble when talking to people. I think this one is true because I come from humble beginnings and I don't see like i would never want to look down on anybody because nobody deserves that we are all on the same playing field yeah um and i feel like this also comes down to like you don't know what people are going through so treating them with like your nose in the air is like messed up <laughs> because you never know what will be the thing to push that person over the edge and it's not right for you to speak to anybody in a way that you want, wouldn't want to be spoken to. So yeah, I do try my best to be as humble when talking to people as possible and to be as understanding of their circumstances and situations as much as I can. So yeah. <laughs> um, this one is... <laughs> this one is... is <laughs> you are more dominant in your relationship. You call the shots uh definitely <laughs> uh i definitely definitely am the more dominant one in the relationship i should not say that <laughs> um okay i am definitely the more dominant person uh in the relationship but that's also because i have a very big personality um Marco is definitely more um, introverted so he does let me take the lead and I am the type of person that will just jump in the lead if you're not gonna like talk over me or tell me like shut up like I'm gonna just keep rolling with it so because he's more introverted I definitely take the lead on a lot of things um, so yeah I would say I'm more dominant uh, but yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go too deep into that because he has his own ways of, of being dominant when he wants to, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, the next one is you are an independent queen. I flip and try. <laughs> I really try like I've been working since I was 16 years old I'm 29 this year I have never not worked a year since then um I think I like officially started working I would say at 18 because 16 I worked for my parents company so from 18 I would say I, I like started real work and um I mean it's been almost 11 years um it's important for me to have my own money like even if it's not a lot I need to have my own money to buy my own things like that's just one thing about me Marco takes really good care of me and I'm very grateful for everything that I've gotten like thanks to him and what he's provided for us and, and his family has provided for us but it's important for me to know that I have my own two feet to stand on and that 
my father funny enough always taught us to always have a plan b if you have to be able to take care of yourself to take care of somebody else you know what i mean so yeah i i think i'm an independent queen i think it's important for me to hustle to make my own money and to like be able to stand on my own two feet i always say me and marco always have this thing that you have to better yourself as a person and better each other individually not better each other for each other if that makes sense so i will always push marco to do better even if it is financially and he'll always push me to do better financially for ourselves so that even if we don't work out we can both support ourselves and our kids but we don't think that way it's just important for us to be independent and together if that makes sense so yeah independence is a big thing uh for me 100 percent um okay and then next you are the sweetest but you, but you always know how to set boundaries thank you and yes i had to learn how to set boundaries because i didn't always um one thing about trying to be a kind person is that people will always take advantage of that and as i've gotten older and i have my kids now in my life i've realized that i can say no I can be fed up, I can cut people off, I can, I don't have to deal with things that upset me anymore and I don't have to stay in the lives of people that don't bring joy into my life if that makes sense. So I had to learn to set boundaries, I'm still learning to set boundaries because there are some situations that um, are harder to like let go of than others but i definitely definitely have learned to set boundaries um i think it's very important especially if you yourself want to be a happy person there's a certain level of shit you have to just say no to you have to learn to say no you have to because otherwise it just it just escalates and you're the one crying in a ball dealing with everything and everybody else just goes on with their lives so you have to learn to put up boundaries so yeah definitely <laughs> and then this one says you love luxury but you're really down to earth so i love this one actually because yes i do love the soft life the reason i love the soft life and that nobody ever understands is that because i never had it before <laughs> before like we reach this point in our lives like nobody knows the struggles that that i went through to get to this point in my life and i'm going to take full advantage of of living the soft life if i have if i can you know what i mean and i don't need things but if there are things that make me happy and if they are luxury items then if i'm working my ass off to get there or doing the most to deserve it then yeah why not <laughs> you know but in terms of being down to earth yes that too um they do say that money changes people but i think it's more of a situation that you also see people's true colors when you as you grow and uh, move up in life and some people won't be there to really support you and i feel like those are the people that will say money changed you but money doesn't change you sometimes it just opens your eyes to see what's who's really there for you and not and i think in that terms it's important to stay humble and stay true to yourself um and not let the things be who you are you are who you are and you have nice things if that makes sense so i hope i do come across as down to earth and i hope that i stay down to earth no matter what happens in my life um because i feel like the higher you climb the further you fall so you can't be pulling your nose up just because you're going up you know what i mean you have to be understanding sympathetic empathetic and appreciate the small things in life because everything can be taken from you in a moment so yeah i do love luxury but i do think i'm very down to earth so i'm glad i come across that way too <laughs> um and then i think this is the last one you like to party but you don't get too often yes i do like to party but like 
in terms of party is probably like chilled vibes with my friends um you know i don't have many friends like in terms of close friends that i see um i feel like because of youtube i've really gotten a lot of friends now but um i do like to party i do like to have a few drinks i do like to let loose i do like to get a little bit drunk when i know the kids are taken care of and just be young because at the end of the day i'm still in my 20s and i did give up a lot of my 20s to have kids so i still want to have fun um but i do also know that i have responsibilities and that i can't be doing that every weekend um and so i don't but do i wish i could party a little bit more uh probably yes <laughs> probably i don't do clubs and things like that anymore i don't do crazy out of hand parties and that sort of stuff but i do like to have a few drinks with some good people good drinks good company good food i'm in my happy place honestly um so yeah i do wish i could party a little bit more often but i'm also happy with the way things are um it's not a train smash for me so yeah that is that is true so that's basically it for this video that was the last one i hope that you guys really enjoyed it and i really liked hearing your assumptions of me they were actually really sweet and i feel like some were like genuine questions out of curiosity and i really like that please always feel free to ask me anything in the comments um i always try my best to be as honest as possible um i say it like that because i feel like sometimes people use your honesty against you so you have to be very careful how you say things on the internet but um but yeah i think i explained everything thoroughly if there's anything that wasn't clear please let me know um and if you have any more assumptions you'd like me to answer just leave them down below and i'll let you guys know what's true what's not true um other than that um i really enjoyed doing this and thank you thank you so much to my friend Debo Singh who let me steal her video idea <laughs> um and yeah please make sure you go and watch her video it was really really awesome i really enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye